Oh, good afternoon, everyone. Um, how are you this afternoon? Uh, <laughs> on this happy Friday? Uh, yeah, it's a happy Friday. Um, hello, everyone. Um, as you can see, this is a very late morning stream. Uh, is this late morning? No, this is the afternoon. Um, I'm exhausted. <laughs> I'm so tired. Um, we had a, uh, a very late night last night. Um, I think most of you are aware. But, uh, oh my god, I'm so tired. Um, <laughs> turn on Toby Cam. Well, let's see. Um, here, I'll turn on Toby Cam. There's Toby Cam. <laughs> um, so, so uh, yeah, we were at the uh, pet ER last night for about four hours. Um, and uh, for anybody who didn't see this in the Discord, um, Toby's okay now. He had a lot of trouble breathing. It was kind of scary. It was a really intense hour uh, there when we brought him in. Um, but uh, he got some x-rays as a result. And uh, we found out that, um, as you can see, uh, in this bottom left portion here of the uh, x-ray, uh, Toby's been shot uh, at some point. Toby was shot uh, in his lifetime. He's not that old, um, but that's a bullet right by his, uh, his little pelvic bone there. Um, and uh, we have no idea, we have no idea how that happened. Um, the story on him is that he, um, you can see it up on the top right too, sort of by his, um, by his uh, spinal column there, except that it's, it's not, as you can see from the top down, it sort of ended up near his pelvis bone, or his pelvic bone. Um, but uh, yeah, we, um, we, kn we knew that he had uh, been picked up in rural California um, off the street, and um, we, uh, that's all we knew. We knew he was a street dog, uh, and that we, uh, the other thing we knew is that he knew how to sit. And so we knew that he probably, he likely had had a previous owner. Um, and uh, so we guess, and also we, we know that um, he, doesn't, he doesn't like me when I get close to Janelle. And so we had always guessed, like, well, his previous owner was probably a dude who was uh, either abusive or something, you know. Um, and so, uh, you know, that was just all we could piece together in the sort of uh, Sherlock Holmes video game of Toby's life. Um, <laughs> but uh, now we know that he also had been shot. Um, it's just shocking information. Um, but he's fine now. He's, I'm, I'm not going to bring him in just yet because he's having such a nice morning uh, splayed out uh, underneath a very large sunspot in the front of the house. Um, but, uh, I'll see if he'll come in later. Um, I actually suspect that what happened with the, with the, the gun thing, it could have been two things. It could have been the owner, um, or it could have been that when he was on the street, um, somebody, some kids or something just, like, shot at him for fun. Um, but, uh, it's, <laughs> it was a, it was a tough night last night. I'm, uh, I'm extremely exhausted, um. We were already stressed out because of all this stuff that's going on, and then you know, of course, we had to go to the ER, the the pet ER, and they they were doing like contactless drop off and stuff. But it's still stressful. They're still like you know handling the dog and they're taking him away, and you know it's just oh man, like the virus on top of all that stuff. Um, and we didn't, you know, we were just stuck in the car, so we couldn't ask any questions like is is he okay? You know, we had no idea how he was for like an hour. Um, and we were just like stuck in our car, just sitting there waiting. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I, um, I had to go to the bathroom so bad. I would, so before that I had a conference call that I was on for an hour and a half and I just happened to have like two full glasses of water next to me on the conference call. And so I just, you know, you do what you do. Like you sort of, because you're just bored, you just drink all the things that are in front of you. So I just drank all of this water. And then when I left the call, I came out and Janelle was like, something's wrong with Toby. And then we just like bolted out the door. Um, and so I very quickly realized I was like 
dying. And I, they offered to let me come in and use their bathroom, but I was like, fuck, you know, like, I don't know if it's worth the risk of, like, using a public restroom right now and all that stuff. So I also urinated in public for the first time. Anyway, it was a weird, crazy night. Uh, it was a long four hours. Um, I'm very, very tired. I got a headache. Um, but, but everything's fine. Toby's fine. We're probably fine. Um, and uh, I'm sitting here playing Animal Crossing. So, uh, um, <laughs> <sighs> Not for today's news. <laughs> I should have I should have triggered that before I before I got through all that. Um, but Alex uh, says it's kind of amazing you're doing the stream right now. I, I I literally couldn't do anything else this morning. I'm I'm not gonna do any work today. Probably I'm exhausted. Um, uh, Well, when I say in public, uh, I mean against the side of a wall, like with cars driving by. I mean, it was it was, I, it was a anyway. If you happen to see her, please give her a warm welcome. Oh yeah, Chrissy moved in. Okay, cool. Anyway, hi Michael. Uh, <laughs> so I um I left all this stuff for Janelle to do, and then. We, did, we clearly did not have time for her to do any of it yesterday. So now I'm kind of sad that all these fossils are buried and that maybe I didn't get more fossils. I also never got iron yesterday, but I guess it's not that big of a loss. Yeah, why is it rainy? I, I need like a happy, a happy day here. This is a bummer. Oh, a Nick treat. Oh, here's a Nick treat. Uh, we also hadn't eaten dinner. Um, when we when we bolted out the door, we didn't get home until midnight. So Nick had Nick Nick's treat was uh, three hot dogs and some macaroni and cheese at like twelve thirty, uh, and, gla and a glass of scotch. Um, but uh, there's also no we don't really have any uh, lunch food right now. I don't know what I'm gonna eat. Uh, can't get a grocery order through this week. I don't know what to do. Anyway, everything's fine. We got plenty of food. But boy, am I tired. And boy, do I want to just, like, have someone come cook me something. A delivery pizza. Well, we went outside and had contact with a bunch of people, so we may as well just go for it. <laughs> oh, a utility pole. Oh, I don't like that. What? Is this game just about slowly kind of turning your village into like an industrial town? I don't I don't like that progression arc. I'm, I, I reject it. I like the little lamp pole or the, uh, you know, like this guy here. But... Um... Oh, God. I got good success putting it in at 3 a.m. So Sunlust, I saw it tick over at midnight, and it, it allowed me to select, like, 9 a.m. tomorrow, which was now tomorrow, not today, but the next day. Uh, and then when I tried to put the order through, it didn't work. And then when I went back, it had, like, cleared out that day. And, like, I don't know, something, something was going on. Um, but... Uh, I'll try it again tonight, I guess. We're just out of bread, and we don't have enough flour to make bread, which is a bummer, because I have all this stuff for, like, sandwiches that we can't... Like, I bought all this tuna fish. We can't make tuna fish sandwich. You know, it's like, ugh. Anyway, this isn't, like, whining hour. This is, like, I'm glad that we're... Everyone's in one piece hour. Oh, I'm just so tired. I just slept until about 20 minutes ago. Okay. Um, reader mail. Let's do reader mail. All right, Twist from Martini says, the only plates fit for a king baby. <laughs> Let's see what these are. 
Golden dishes. Whoa, 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 whoa. What a, what a, what a king, kingly gift. Thank you, uh, thank you, Twist. Oh, this is wonderful. I know exactly where to put these. Uh, here, I'll wait. I'll wait until we we get through reader mail. But uh, thank you very much, Twist. Um, oh yeah, these are all the things that I purchased in the last uh, in the last stream. We'll just grab those. All right, potato from Lagavulin says hamburger. <laughs> I wonder what it is. <laughs> Uh, oh wait, what? Oh. Oh, well, I guess we'll we'll wait to see what that is until we go in. Hamburger. Uh, Brian says I would die for Toby. Well, I I clearly would as well. Uh, thank you for your thank you for your note and your present, Brian. Let's see what Brian sent me. Um. Doghouse. Oh. Oh man. Oh, it's so cool. Here's the thing I'm confused about. Why are all these doghouse items and dog items in the game but there are no there's no like dog? Why why is there no dog? They have all these other like fish and you know, you can have a little tarantula. I bet that will come. I hope it will. If it doesn't, it's going to be a real bummer. But uh thank you, Brian. That's still that's still the best. I'm going to put it over here next to Janelle's house though. I think all the dog the dog stuff is gonna make her happy. I'll put the dog house like right here. She also has like a better house to have like a dog house. She's kind of in the woods. It's like a rustic setting. Having pets in this animal world would be disturbing. See, that's the thing that frustrates me about the pet thing, because I feel like I feel like that's true, but it's annoying. <laughs> annoying if true. Um, and it is true. There already are pets, though. Yeah, they're like hamsters. If you got a hamster, they should have a dog. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Breo says, fossil pun. Interesting. Uh, let's see what fossil pun means. Or implies. Trice oh oh Breos, thank you so much oh this is a very a very good gift all right let's go let's go exploit all these gifts all right so we can we can do yes we can do pockets oh this is the best oh my god we can complete it oh no I, I exited out of the thing okay <clears throat> here let's um Mm. Oh man, thank you, Braos. Oops. Oh my god. And not enough space. <laughs> Gotta move this sink. Actually, I guess we'll just move the whole. We'll just we'll just we'll just kind of redesign everything here. Oh no, the pizzas! Get out of there, pizzas! I gotta enlarge my house. This is getting kind of cramped. Oh my god, it's so good. <laughs> I I was on a YouTube hole um uh a couple weeks ago and um it was one of those YouTubes of um of just like a fancy house. Like somebody just kind of giving you a tour through a fancy house. It was the most expensive house in um in uh, LA was the pitch. And uh it was like $25 million or something. And the house was terrible. Like, it was not cool at all. It, it looked like a hotel lobby. Like, the whole house just had the feeling of, like, just a shitty hotel lobby. Turns out, no one actually owns the house. They built the house on spec, and it's just sitting there now. Anyway, um, I should find a link to this. But uh, the most notable thing is that the guy who built it uh thought it'd be like a really cool conversation starter for people who were looking at the house if he just bought a dinosaur skeleton and put it in the foyer of the house so he just got he just bought this like million dollar skeleton and put it in in, the, in he was like very quick to point out that that does not come with the house unless you purchase the skeleton on top of the house <laughs> just like what the fuck is this world 
Oh my god. What a disaster. Um, anyway. <clears throat> um, here, we'll, we'll, we'll save some space by, by turning the uh, pizza oven, even though it's not as, not as enticing when it's turned. Um, cool, man. Yeah, we're getting cramped here. This is this is some major some major cramping is happening. Um, oops. So what is this poster? Oh no! Whoops. A hamburger. <laughs> sure. Okay. Uh. Oh wait. Can we? Oh wow! Nice. Okay. That's nice. Um. Is she like does she have like a little hamburger serving thing on or something? Uh, how do I? Ah, yes. Okay. Mm. Back to floor. Back to floor. Um, and then golden dishes. Right. So I'm gonna put the dishes on this table, and then I think what we'll have to do is create some kind of like evil lair dining room table situation. Um. Actually, maybe maybe what we should do is just make two tables, and then they should kind of face each other here in the middle of the floor. Really, what I want is the long, ridiculously long, evil table, but it's just full of pizzas. Um, you know, I want the I want the full length table if we can get it. But uh, I think I just need a bigger house for this. I need a dining room that looks exactly like this with the stupid triceratops and everything, but it's just covered in pizza and golden plates. Um, that's my, that's my, I guess that's my new Animal Crossing goal. Um, I've got another album on the level one. I got the record player now, too. <laughs> How about you eat the pizzas before they get cold? Can you eat the pizzas? You can't eat the pizzas. Yeah, you can't eat the pizzas. I wish you could. Um, actually... Well, that's fine. Let's let's turn on the lights for a minute. Oh, hey Slade. Hey everybody. Um, uh, well, what I want, Half Love, really what I want is I want a table that's fit for this room. The problem is that the this floor and this wall have uh, sort of uh, accelerated me into this um, aesthetic that requires probably some fairly late game stuff to work. Uh, the golden plates is up there, but this table is not like industrial or like evil enough. It needs it needs more metal, right? And this this wood table is just not going to cut it. And so um, that's kind of what I'm. Uh, whoops! Nope, don't want that. Although that kind of fits in here. <laughs> uh, but you know what I'm saying? Like I, I need something that looks suitably uh, cold and metallic for this room. This is going to be, though, like my dining room, my evil lair, and maybe this will be my basement whenever I get the basement. Um, but uh, right now, it's just the only room I have. This is like pre pre planning for the basement, basically. I need to do some shopping at the lair barn. <laughs> Um, anyway, we'll just put the pizzas there for now. Uh, what else do I have in here? I guess that's it. Oh, whoops. Yeah, I need to register that. Oops, nope. Oh my god! Oh! Oh, I need the Scrooge McDuck room where there's just gold everywhere, too. Like, piles of gold, like the Joker room. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna happen. Uh, oops. Wait, what? That can't go in my pockets? Whatever, I'll just pick it up again. Okay. Um, okay, that's everything. Uh, put these in storage, put these in storage. Uh, yeah, I was gonna register the, um... Oh, this is just an album thing? Or, or wait, where... Um, what happened to the... Did I put it in storage? What did I do with that song? Oh yeah.
<laughs> okay, um... <laughs> Uh, very, very stupid. Okay, um, you can stack cardboard boxes everywhere. One of the door, another at storage. Um, that's a good point. I just have too much stuff now. Look, look, look at all this stuff. I've got all this, like, wacky stuff. Fortune telling set, the slide. I mean, there's just too much stuff. I need a bigger house. I guess that's kind of my goal for the day, is, like, pay off this house so I can get a bigger house. Because this is getting kind of disastrous. Oh wait, I need to mess around with the camera. Somebody said I have a you can you can do um, free cam or whatever, not free cam. You can free cam after you die in Counter Strike slash Animal Crossing. Um, wait, so what's the deal? Oh man! Oh yeah, look at that! I gotta, I gotta get that off the wall. Oh, you can do it in this mode too. Oh, I'm so dumb. I'm so so dumb. Uh, but how do you grab things that are on the wall? Ah. Hmm. Uh. I should have just put it on the ground. Um, that's a poster. Oh my god, this is blowing my mind. I kind of wish you could do this everywhere. Oh, this is for sure the music. <laughs> As I died on my gold plates with my pizzas and my weird fucking, like, in my weird, uh, like, bio-containment layer. Yeah, this is for sure my fucking track. That was good play. <laughs> it is good play. Oh, man. Super good. Okay. I just want like a dance emoji. I want like multiple dance emojis. I want the, the uh, or emotes. I want the, um, I need like a little tango like twirl. Oh, that makes me happy. Okay. So, what do I leave for Janelle to do now? I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like I should still leave something for her to do, but I also, oh, a money tree, okay. Oh, maybe I should have left that for her. Well, but she didn't earn it. Wait a minute. Oh, this didn't really pay off 10k in the way that I thought it was going to. Oh, do they keep do they keep spawning? Maybe they keep spawning like every day and uh, or like, you know whenever they spawn. Um, they do not. Oh, oh, that's the first one that I planted, and I planted 1k by accident. That's why that's the way it is. Okay. Okay. The rest of them should be 30. Uh, okay. Um... <laughs> I don't really know what to do because I, I, I want Janelle to be- I th So I think even though I buried those fossils again, it looks like possibly I got today's fossils anyway. Hopefully. Hopefully I didn't miss out on anything. Because it feels like you could probably just keep burying things and the game wouldn't stop spawning extra stuff for you. That would be dumb. And I mean, like, burying things is like a legit tactic, right? To keep them from the from the pirates. Um. Oh, nice spinning. Uh, I'm glad you guys finally got your uh, your stuff going. Yeah, I... Uh, I, I I think chat basically did the same for me. They were like, wait, no, what are you doing? No! <laughs> I 
Yeah, when this turns into Clash of Clans, I'll be set. Um, okay. So what am I doing today? I know what the answer to that is in real life is, which is I'm doing nothing. Um, let's get some fossils. Sorry, Janelle. I'm going to get a few. Oops. Um, anyway, how are you all doing? Sorry to just kind of dominate the chat there. I just had to get all that off my, uh, off my brain, my, my stupid, uh, headache riddled brain. The tough thing about doing this is that, uh, Janelle's not going to know which rocks I did this to. I guess I'll just do it to this one. Maybe I'll set up the fencing on all the rocks. That's probably a worthwhile thing to do. Um, so that she doesn't have to do this stupid thing. Mm, yeah, half loaf. Especially when you work from home, it's like... You know, you can always get a little done on Saturday morning if you if you need to make up your time, you know. That's a, that's a dangerous, slippery slope, but uh, it's one that I've lived on for a while now, and it seems to be fine. Yeah, spinning, I, uh, I kind of wish that that was true as well. Maybe we should split the island up down the middle, but then how do we do that? Should I just fence it? <laughs> I could just put a huge fence that runs from the middle of the plaza, which I guess is probably the, uh, the middle of the island. Oh, it's not, actually. Janelle's kind of right on the line there. Okay. So the airport's actually the middle of the island. Well, who gets Chrissy, then? <laughs> That's the question. Janelle can have Chrissy. I don't want Chrissy. Um... Grandpa says, Nick, do you have Mario Kart? Um, I think so. Do I have Mario Kart? Probably. Uh, do I have Mario Kart? I do. The only reason I wasn't sure is that I know I bought it on, um, on, uh, on Wii U as well. So they, they got me there. Oh yeah, Mario Tennis, that game exists. <laughs> All these things that... Uh, oh yeah, Pokemon Sword! I forgot that Janelle even bought that. We have Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Sword. I don't think she ever played Sword, even. Um, Janelle, Janelle, in her mind, is always playing a Switch, but never actually playing it. Uh, oh, Tetris 99. Ooh, and I've got that Pro Controller. Look out, Superhero. Um, okay. No, Dom will def definitely not be able In fact, yeah, actually, the island is set up for me to have the half of the island that I want. Um, so that's that's good. Oh, hello. It's real cool that I made a friend the same day I moved. I love the island thing, but for you, even though you already live here, it's not weird. <laughs> it's not weird. A garden wagon? Oh, that's kind of cool. Lots of nap times. Maybe the whole island can nap all at once, together. It'd be like nighttime, but it's some other weirder time. Like, uh, man, any time is weird for this idea, huh? <laughs> See, Benedict is my favorite already. I love Benedict. <clears throat> um, maybe you got an improved D-pad. The D-pad feels pretty good, Sako. But, I don't know, maybe it's bad. Actually, I don't know, maybe it is bad. I don't know, I can't tell. Oh, this is cool. I know where to put this. Oh, come on. What? This is where I wish you could just do the, the grid-based thing um, everywhere. There we go. 
Uh, maybe I should water these flowers. Or it, does the rain act as water? I feel like it probably does. Like for your flowers? It do. Okay, that's nice. Ooh. Oh. Oh! Hmm. Do I get to, like, move this? Wait, what? Oh, okay. You get to at least pick it up then. Oh, this is, this is sort of... Hmm. Oh, I see the way that this works. Okay, you've got to do that. Okay. Well, that's perfect. All right. Um, <clears throat> rain is <laughs> rain is water. Yes. Thank you for confirming. Um, on today's episode of Good Morning Animal Crossing, we'll learn about rain and how it's water. It's just water, kids. So are tears. Tears are water. What else is water? Coffee. Coffee is water. Uh, blood, not water. Kind of water. I think it. I think it probably isn't water though. Um, <clears throat> Lagavulin. Lagavulin. Just water. Whoa, oh, that scared the little bug. Wait, what? Oh, I've messed this one up. I've messed this one up a lot. Wait, no, I, no, I didn't. You only need the two pieces. But I like the three for the aesthetic value of it. Yeah, that's, that's better. I'm doing three everywhere. I mean, late game, I'm gonna just put a little, put a little, uh, oh, that, that, this fish. All these big fish, they, 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 they get me every time. It's like, oh man, look at that big fish, and then it's just gonna be a stupid bass or something. No one cares. See? Fuck. See, nobody cares. Nice hat. Uh, yeah, secret. I, uh, I've done that on both hemispheres, actually. Um, I got the salmon, I got the, um, sturgeon. Um, but yeah, that's a good tip. Oh, okay. Uh, here, we'll do it on this side. Last night, all of the, um, the vets that came to our car, the vet techs, they had um, homemade masks on, which is sad, but they did. But they were all very uh, spangly, like they had like cool uh, patterns and designs, so that part was cool. It actually is a little less intimidating. Uh, like it's, um, it is, it is just kind of shocking when you see somebody right in front of you wearing a surgical mask out in the middle of you know, just sort of a public space, but when it's just covered in flowers and stuff, it does kind of change the feeling of it. It's too bad that uh, they all don't look like that. Hey, Zero. Okay. Good afternoon, sad face. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, I'm going to get this one because I don't know that Janelle will be able to. She doesn't have a ladder yet. Oh, did I miss a rock? Okay. Oh, man. Just mail her a ladder. Well, I did make her a perfect version of all the tools. Uh, I just forgot to give her a ladder. I guess I should I give her a... Give her a ladder and a pole, maybe. Um, where are those fences? Why can't I see them? They're right here. I guess that's good enough. What is this thing doing here? That's gonna ruin everything. Get out of there, buddy. <laughs> yeah, Locke, no, I am not doing that and I'm very glad. Um, this is just my chill chill game that I play. I did <clears throat> I did see that um, Posh in, in the Discord did a little uh, spoiler link to somebody who had a late game island. And um, it was nice to look at that because I realized that I just don't care about the late game then. <laughs> like, if that's the stuff that you get, I was like, eh, I'm happy to just make weird things and not try to like level up. Uh, I don't really care. Um, Bill wants a ladder too. Oh, I'll make you a ladder, Bill. I know it's an intentional choice, Potato, but you know what I'm saying, though. Like, I don't... Uh, I'm, I'm perfectly happy to just kind of walk around my dumb island right now. I don't, I don't feel the need to, like, aggressively terraform or something, you know. Ooh! Bamboo d <sighs> Well, I can make a million of those. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, God, this headache. It's something else. <sighs> Should probably take a pill. Um... What was I doing? Oh yeah, rocks. I think I got most of them. Uh, some less, yeah, I hope so. I hope that's what it is. Um, I suspect that's what it is. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little congested this morning. Um, it only takes about the length of a Toby walk for my allergies to just compound by like 10x. Um, so yeah, sitting in a car all night was probably bad for me. It's really bad out there, pollen-wise. Like, god damn. I haven't had allergies like this in years, and I'm just, I'm not happy about it. I want my respiratory system to be very healthy right now, and I just think there's nothing I can do about it other than sit next to my HEPA filter. There's Toby. Let me see if I can get him to come in here. Nah, he's not, he's not coming right here. Barking at something out the window. Okay, I think I got all of the, all of the rocks. <laughs> Wear a mask. Yeah. Oh! Oh, no, I got that one, okay. Alright, well, we're good. I'm gonna just turn these fossils and I'll leave the rest for Janelle. Um... And, uh, maybe I'll go see what's in the shop. Um, secret, yeah, 
uh, people have various success with different um, allergy medicines. A lot of people like Allegra. A lot of people like um, like Flonase for um, you know runny nose and, and sort of congestion. Um, I I tried Flonase. It worked fairly well for me, but it also gave me um, kind of bad stomach problems, um, which is a side effect, a listed side effect. So I just stopped. Um, Claritin, I find, doesn't do shit, uh, but maybe it does for some people. I don't know. Claritin D uh, always used to work for me as a kid, but that is an antihistamine, and that just, like, turns your brain into jelly. Um, so I, I, don't, uh, I don't mess around with that um, in the daytime. I would rather feel bad and be awake than just sleep for three straight months. Um... <clears throat> Uh, Sako, I don't know that Christopher used it. I think I used it. I think I was talking about it on the podcast. Um, I, I think I endorsed it on the podcast. It did work. It's just after like a month, I realized that it was giving me some bad side effects. Um, some people can take it and not have those side effects, so that might be something to look into. But, um, but yeah, Sunlust says uh, it's not great, so your mileage may vary. I, t I like Benadryl because you can't worry about allergies when you're in a coma, yeah. If I had trouble sleeping, I would take just, you know, an antihistamine like Benadryl for sure. Um, but um, I usually don't have trouble sleeping. Yet. Oh man, is this thing complete? It is. Nice. I feel like you should get a reward for completing skeletons or like fish. Like, it feels weird that you spent all this time filling in this museum. I mean, the reward is, you know, having the cool thing, obviously, but I feel like you should get an extra reward on top of it. Because um, you are deferring money by not selling this stuff, so it feels like. It feels like you should get something. You should get some miles or something. Oh, you know what's so funny is I used the tail for my house, but I don't actually have it in the museum. That's okay. Oh, look at this cool dinosaur track. I forgot I got that. Oh, that's the best. Yeah, I know the reward is the museum. I'm just saying, you know, a little extra. Can I charge admission for my museum? You know, that's what I want to do. I use antihistamines that I never have any brain problems. Wow, I am very envious of you, uh, Brian. Uh, antihistamines make me so sleepy. Although I haven't really taken any as a fully grown adult. Maybe I should try that again. Maybe they wouldn't hit me as hard. And I've taken them like in uh, like cold and flu medication, but I'm just generally sleepy when I'm taking that anyway, so. Oh, I forgot to open this. I was lay relaxing yesterday. Is that how that works? While well, reading comics when I thought of this recipe. Oh, a lily crown. I'll give that one to Janelle. I'll wear the real crown. Let's check out the shop. So here's another stupid thing about sharing an island. Uh, you only get one copy of some of these items, right? So of these like two items here. So you, you, if I buy them, then Janelle can't buy them, right? That's so dumb if, if, if that's the way that, that works. And I'm totally buying this. Can? I don't think I need a gas can. I already bought this for Janelle, so that's fine. Oh, I probably need... I should probably sell some stuff to them. How the hell am I going to pay off my house? I've only got 25,000 bells. I could sell this crown, but I don't really want to. Um... Oh, do you want me to send you that gas can for Site B spinning mine? I can do that. I'll buy one just in case you want me to. Uh, 
da, da. Um, what am I selling? I guess just this and this. And yeah. Yeah. Visit someone's island to sell your fruit. Oh, does fruit sell for more at different islands? <laughs> chili to go with that sea bass. I think it's Chilean sea bass, as in like from Chile to country, but uh, he does say it uh, in a way that sounds like Chilean sea bass. Our, uh, yeah, I always misheard it as a kid, that's really funny. I think I probably did too. Um, I, uh, our, our vet, uh, the doctor that we ended up with, uh, eventually last night. Her name was Dr. Sun and Shine. And um, for about two hours while we were kind of, you know, just like sad crying in the car and just being like oscillating between that and just kind of like joking around, uh, I, I was building up this whole canon in my head that she was like, you know, that she'd grown up in like a weird commune in rural California or something. And her name was like Dr. Sun and Shine. Uh, and then when we finally got um, the prescription uh, from her, we realized that uh, she's just got a very Jewish name, and it's like Sun and Shine, like Sun, like Sun and Shine, you know, like uh, <laughs> it's, it was so stupid. I had this whole thing where I I, I, I figured she was basically in a cult, um, but uh, and had like a, a hilarious uh, Sunshine name, but uh, no, just just Jewish. Uh, anyway. Uh, the fruit native to your island sells for a lot more elsewhere. Oh, really? Oh, so I should be send. I should be um, collecting pears, but everything else can just hang out here. Uh, okay. There aren't many pears. The fruit does take a while to come in, huh? Um, seems a few there. Should I be planting more fruit trees, maybe? I feel like maybe... God, there's just so many trees on this island. Are all of these pear trees? Like, over here? These are pear trees. Uh, maybe I should be replanting... I don't know. Oh, for I've planted tons of money trees. Oh, native fruits... Native uh, fruits grow faster, okay. Is there an advantage in having these pine trees here, or should I just be replanting all of this land with fruit? I wonder. R right, Braos, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, I've got a pretty decent sized foreign fruit orchard. Do those sell for more in my island? Is it, does it work both ways? Oh, rock with a bug on it, uh-oh. They do, okay. Good, good, good. Well, that's the easier way of doing this, I guess. Because even though, um... Even though, uh... It's gonna take longer... I can just, uh... Oh, it's gone. They grow slower, but still, I'm going to be pretty lazy. <laughs> I'm just assuming I'm going to be lazy. <clears throat> I don't see this bug. Missed it. What am I going to eat for lunch? Man can't survive on hot dogs alone. Um, <clears throat> yeah, we don't have any pizza. I don't really want to order pizza. I know it's technically safe, but I'm trying to just cook in. We do have frozen vegetables. I could just eat a bunch of vegetables and rice or something. Ugh, that sounds so boring. I do kind of just want a Domino's. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. 
<laughs> oh, did I learn a new one? Oh, cool. Sheep, we have a lot of things in the house. <clears throat> like, I've got tuna, I've got eggs. I guess I could just make some eggs and bacon. We've got eggs and bacon. I'm just getting kind of tired of all that stuff that's easy to make. I really just want a burrito. That's what I want. I want to eat a burrito right now, and I can't. That makes me sad. Oh, I could have that ramen. I could try that ramen and try it on the stream. And if it's really hot, it'll be funny because I'm going to just melt and, uh, and die. I've never had instant ramen before. I've, I've literally never eaten instant ramen, so this would be a first. Janelle's actually already making it. Oh, for her. Make me, make me some. What if I can't eat it? Well, <clears throat> could I have one bite of yours? Oh, she's adding a bunch of weird stuff to it. Um, well, just make me one. Does it keep? It doesn't keep. Sheep says, Nick, you'll be fine. Just do it, Nick. Everyone says I should just do it. My stomach already doesn't feel good, though. Janelle thinks I won't be able to eat it. Uh, it's only one ramen if we can't eat it. It's not like that one ramen's gonna be the life or death moment. <clears throat> well, can't. Oh, okay. Are you sure? You can just put kimchi on the side. The kimchi's not that spicy though, right? Alright, she's just gonna put kimchi on the side and then I'll have a bite of hers. And if it's. If I can eat it um, and not die, then I'll have my own. Um, yes, this is the perfect thing. This is exactly what I wanted. I did want ramen. Uh, let's see if I can actually handle it, though. Uh, what's this plastic canister? What? Oh, I hate that you can't put things in the plaza. Alright. What is this? Oh, this is that gas canister. Okay. Um, spinning, I don't know that we're friends yet. You gotta friend me. Because I'm gonna be too lazy to friend you. Kevin, I bought some uh, mother-in-law's kimchi, two jars of it for Janelle, because I knew it would make her happy. Oh, I wonder if Janelle's present is ready yet. Uh, I don't think that it is, and it's making me sad. I don't know that it's ever actually going to make it. Bummer. Um, I'll let her get those seashells. What's the deal with the shells? I remember the shells being like a big deal um, in the DS version, like they sold for a lot, but it feels like these don't really sell for that much. Do you... Uh, is it like you, you want to do something with them, or some are crafting? Yeah. Um, okay. You get Nook Miles. Okay. Um... Man, yeah, I don't know that we're going to get our... I don't know that I'm going to get my gift for her. It's a bummer. Um, you get Nick Miles, okay. Well, uh, I need cash fast. I need some cash fast. What am, I, what am I gonna do here? Um, I could sell some things. I have so much stuff in my inventory. Sell drugs? Well. That's gonna get a lot harder with all the... Uh, Canadian... Uh, all the military at the Canadian border, man. I, uh, we, we got ours in just in time. Um... All right, I'll put this plastic canister in storage for spinning. Oh, this garden faucet. Yeah, I gotta put that down. Oh, these, this weird baby bear. I guess I'll just have like a weird creepy toy room at some point. Um, I really don't have that much I can sell. All of these things seem very necessary. I only have one of them. I need to put this 
down somewhere. This is, this is very important. This is gonna go on the table, but uh, it's just gonna have to. It's gonna have to wait for a spot. Why wouldn't I buy all of those hamster cages, Kevin? Oh yeah, potato, good point. The hot item. Yes, of course. Uh, is, it, is it listed here? Oh, natural square table. Oh. What does that take again? Hmm. Hardwood and iron. Hmm. I could make a lot of these, but I wonder how much they actually sell for. And I wonder if I have the patience to sit here and make that many of them. The crafting takes so long. Um. Oh, my head hurts. Okay. Uh, and it's hardwood. Yeah. You can mash A during the animation. Okay, I'll try that. Oh, that's way faster. Oh man, oh my god, thank you for that. I'm sure somebody, I know for a fact that people pointed that out before, but uh, I completely forgot about it. I wish, um, I wish there was a way to just say I want to make five of these, though. This is a lot faster, though. This is so much faster. Jeez. Oh, I can hear the spice packet getting mixed in. I'm afraid. I'm afraid it's gonna be too spicy. You can already tell. Do I use up all my hardwood on this? Well, I actually don't have that much after building all those houses. Just Well, here's the thing, Elbeck. I like spicy things a lot, but my stomach does not. I have nothing against spicy food. It's just my shitty body does. That's, that is a frustrating aspect of, of um, like, I, I think Janelle has seen how bad my stomach can get, and to this day she's, she's just like, in her brain though, she's just like, you have something against spicy food. I have nothing against spicy food, I just, uh, I literally can't handle it sometimes. Oh god, I feel so crappy. Ugh. The last time I stayed up late with Toby, I got really sick the next day. So I'm hoping that doesn't happen. Hmm. Um, okay. I'm gonna sell all these tables. It's kind of tempting to keep them and use them for my evil lair, but uh, I need money more than I need tables. Um. Ooh, yeah, that's a tidy sum. <laughs> Chris, yeah, I don't get the sweating. I just get the uh, general stomach upset. <clears throat> okay. Is there anything for sale here that I need? Ooh, 
wrapping paper. Wildest Dreams DIY, what the hell is that? Wait, should I buy both of these? Test your DIY skills? It feels like I should. Wait, I don't even have DIY for beginners. Do I need that? It feels like I need this. Thanks for the... You can't rebuy unique stuff, so it's always a good idea. Oh yeah, you can rebuy these. I don't know that I ever got this one though. Sends it right to your phone. Okay. Um, so. Do I have more stuff? Oh, I do. Wooden fish. It's just a big wooden fish. Uh, ring toss. Oh, that's cool. Um, oh, I can make wooden bookshelves. I can make a mini DIY workbench. Oh, I can make that brick oven. Oh, an iron wall lamp. That'll be good for my lair. Um, how did I be? Okay, cool. Let's see if there's anything um, on the ATM thing. Do these change daily? I still can't figure it out. A couple of things do? Okay. Oh my god, oh no. The ramen's here. Oh shit. I'm afraid. Oh my god, it's like really hot. Okay. Um, Alright, I've moved things around. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Oh, the bowl itself is really... Oh, it looks red. What are, what are, the, what are the odds that I'm going to be able to eat this? What do you think? I mean, the noodles themselves are not bad, but you probably can't handle the broth. This is way too hot. I can't handle the broth, you don't think? How do you eat this shit? It just slides right off your... Well, I just... It's like, uh... It's, it's very slippery. No, no, no. I don't want a fork. I just... Oh my god, it's so slippery. It's noodles. Well, <laughs> I never have problem with, problems with ramen in the store, but this is very, um... Okay, there we go. Well, mm. I don't need a fork. <laughs> I just... These are like extra slippery. How do you, how do, you do this? I don't, uh, I'm good with chopsticks. We went to dinner one time with Janelle's extended family, uh, many of whom um, I had never met before. And uh, her aunt complimented me on my chopstick skills, so I don't want any. I don't want any shit about my chopstick skills. But uh, she she says it's implied that they were good for a white person. You're giving me a fork. All right, that's really difficult. I think it's because they're not wood. I think it's because they're uh, they're metal chopsticks. Um. Anyway, are you sure they weren't being polite? Um. No, I'm not entirely sure. No. This is hard even with a fork, it's just very slippery. They're like just kind of weird slippery noodles. I know you're supposed to just slurp these, but it's gonna be so hot, I just can't, I, and that's what I'm afraid of. I want like, I want it. well I can't, I, if, all right. It's gonna be hot, yeah. I'm just a little, I'm a little afraid. I'm a little afraid of this. The noodles aren't the spicy part. 
Mmm. It tastes like, um... Oh, that's gonna be way too spicy for me. <laughs> that's way, way too spicy for me. Yes. If I ate a whole bowl of that, I would die. Add some more stuff to it. Okay. Eat it. Enjoy. Bye. Um, <laughs> you know what that tastes like? That tastes like a, a thousand flaming Hot Cheetos. <laughs> um, oof. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> wow. Well, that will not be on the cooking stream. Sorry to say. Uh, but it's instant ramen, so that wouldn't have been very interesting anyway. Ramen cam? It's gone. Sorry, it's gone. She took it away. Um, I don't know that I loved the flavor anyway. I'll be honest. I like um, sort of uh, very chickeny, rich broth um, for my ramen. <clears throat> What's the hottest thing a white person uh, can think of? Cheetos. Yeah. <laughs> It's true. Oh, a drying rack. Janelle needs this. Send as gift. Janelle. Wait, what? They just input all of this? I want to express my appreciation. Oh, wait, Toby's here. Oh, my God. Hold on. There he is. There's a Toby boy. Toby, how you doing? You feeling okay? You want a treat? Save your, save your treat redeeming, because uh, I'm probably not supposed to feed him too much. Well, Brian, we'll consider that treat yours. Oh boy, all right, well, here we go. All right, I'll give him a few treats. He's probably fine. Um, he's supposed to eat bland food today, but a couple pieces of kibble is going to be fine. Um, he's, uh, yeah, we're, we're playing it safe with his tummy. That bullet, that bullet is in that hip right there. God, it's so crazy. How you doing, bud? You feeling okay? Yeah, you're a good boy. All right. <laughs> Bill. All right, fine. I'll give him one more for Bill. Oh. <laughs> he's too lazy to go get it. It went off his nose and he's like, fuck this. I'm staying in bed. That's how I feel today, buddy. I'm probably actually starving, but oh, and he's gone. Bye. I think he only came in here because he thought Janelle was coming in here. Um, he didn't even bother getting that, that piece of kibble that hit the ground. That's so funny. Oh yeah, for uh, anybody who's not in the Discord who came in late on the stream, um, we took Toby to the ER um, yesterday um, and uh, because he was having trouble breathing after eating a weird thing, and it was very traumatic. But then on top of that, after we got done with everything, uh, we found out that um, he has a bullet inside of him. Here, I'll put it up on the stream again because it's just so interesting to me. See that, that white spot in the bottom left by his hip bone, by his pelvic bone? That is a bullet, and that is inside of our dog. Um, it's, it's, it's bonkers. Yeah, I, I'm glad I'm like blowing people's minds out repeatedly. It destroyed us. I actually, like, when she told us on the phone, because we couldn't go in, and so she, we were talking to the, to the vet on the phone. Uh, when she told us on the phone, I was just, like, gobsmacked. I could not believe it. And also in the top right corner there, you can see, you can see the bullet. Um, it's, it's, it's bananas. Um, uh, oh, that's a lot of bells. All right, fine. Yeah, I mean, I talked about it earlier on the stream, but um, we always knew his past life was probably tough. Uh, but um, didn't know it was that bad. Um, oh, customizable phone case. Yeah, we're doing that. Uh, do I have these? I feel like I have the vertical board fence. Let's let's double check. <laughs> oh my god, my brain hurts. Uh, vertical board. I do indeed have the vertical board fence. Um, huh. Huh. 
but not the corral fence. You should see the other guy. Well, I mean, yeah, it is, it, the thing is it explains a lot, except that... Um, I suspect, like we were talking about it last night, I'm guessing that the... A, um, him getting shot doesn't really explain his whole pathology. Um, uh, it's uh, explains it, it. It 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 implies something that would explain it, but I doubt as a dog he knew what was happening when he got shot. Um, so he probably faced some other abuse as well um, that led him to dislike certain situations. But um, he did great at the vet. They were like, oh, he's just playing with the vet techs and licking their faces. And, you know, um, he, was, uh, he was a good boy last night. But even when we brought him home, we got him home. And, of course, he immediately ran around the house and ate some of the piles of barf uh, before we could stop him, which was just, you know, dumb. And then, um, you know, he started kind of looking sick again, and uh, we were like, oh my god, are we going to have to take him back to the vet? Um, it was, uh, and that was midnight. <laughs> we didn't really fall asleep until like 2 a.m. Uh, yeah, exponent, I mean, it was in the hip, right? So um, he probably bled a bit, but maybe they did, you know, suture him um, and just not remove the bullet. Um, I mean, that's not, it's probably not going to kill him, um, but, uh, if that was on the street, that's a whole other thing, you know, I'm surprised he didn't get infected and, you know, have some kind of complication, but, um, um, do you mean the bullet? No, Tom. So they're going to leave it in. Um, the thing is like, they don't e even, um, even in humans, they don't remove bullets unless they are in organs. Um, because they, it's typically more dangerous to remove it than it is to, uh, to, uh, to leave it in there. So, um, yeah, it's pretty common. And the vet explained, like, uh, finding a bullet in a dog is more common than you think, which is sad, but true. Um, she was not overly surprised, uh, to find it. Oh, here's another fence situation. Anyway, just a little uh, information to brighten your day <laughs> here on uh, Mr. Brecken, Mr. Brecken's Playhouse or whatever. Um, no, not that's Pee Wee's Playhouse. Pee Wee's Playhouse and Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, Mr. Brecken's Neighborhood. We'll, we'll call this Mr. Brecken's Neighborhood. Maybe that's what this should be called. The stream. <laughs> it's. I'll wear the streaming sweater every morning. I basically have. Uh, the thing is, I have to take the sweater off to really sell the look. I can't find my loafers, that's bothering me. I know I have a pair, but I don't know where they are. Yeah, Thanatos, that, that is the, the, the cannon that I'm going with. You know, he's like, he was like Turner and Hooch, and he jumped in front of Tom Hanks and saved him with a, you know, by, by taking that bullet. Um... And he said, I'm getting too old for this shit. And then he came came to uh, Canada. Maybe Toby came to Canada for the healthcare to, to heal his, his bullet wounds. Um, uh, okay, what am I doing? I'm just kind of wandering around now. I guess I was filling in those fence posts things. Um, yeah, what I really need to do is make money, uh, and I guess selling those tables is not a bad way to do it, but I'd have to go to a bunch of islets with my Nook Miles. Potato said I need to have 8,000 miles saved up for something cool, so I wonder if I shouldn't buy a bunch of tickets. I do have one ticket, so I could go to, I could go to a Nook, Nook Island and get some, get some more iron. Uh, well, actually, what I really need is hardwood. Um, is there any reason to not chop down the pine trees that are on my island? Feels like that's a good way to get hardwood. 
Wait, Turner and Hooch, there's a death? I don't remember that. I don't know if I remember that movie, actually. Man, I don't know if I talked about this on the stream before, but... Janelle and I watched, um... Uh... Oh, Christ, what's the name of it? It's the Disney Plus... Togo! We watched Togo, the uh, Disney Plus... Um, I think I actually endorsed it on the Discord, but, um... Uh, yeah, we watched Togo, which is the, um, Willem Dafoe... Uh, movie about um, uh, about the dog Togo, who um, was uh, a sled dog during the um, uh, uh, oh god, what was it? It was an outbreak of um, uh, was it the nineteen eighteen? It wasn't the flu. It was was it the flu? I don't remember what the. Uh, oh, diphtheria, right, it was a diphtheria outbreak. Anyway, they had to use all these sled dogs to carry the diphtheria um, vaccine to uh, remote Alaska. And that's where um, the, uh, what was it, Baldo? Baldo dog? Baldo, Baldo the dog, right? Yeah, Baldo. Baldo was like the famous dog that came out of that, where like Baldo got all the press. But Togo was actually like, or Balto, whatever, Balto. Um, actually, Baldo shows up too on a search. Oh no, it is. Oh, they've just spelled it wrong in the search. Weird. Anyway, um, but Togo was uh, owned by the same uh, guy. And uh, anyway, whatever. I'm not doing a very good job explaining the actual story. But um, uh, anyway, the, it's basically just about Willem Dafoe raising this dog, Togo. And um, oh man. Don't watch that if you're not up for uh, some tears. Uh, <laughs> it was pretty. It was a pretty disastrous scene in this house after we finished watching that. Um, probably a lot worse if you own a dog. Uh, oh, sorry, Twist. Oh, it stopped raining. That's nice. It was a really good movie, though. I mean, for what it was. Uh, we enjoyed it a lot. Okay, I just heard Janelle cough. Is that from the spice that you're coughing, Janelle? She said no. Bullshit. No. God, it's almost 1.30. I'm supposed to stream at 4? Oh God, here we go. Oh, well, that didn't work. See, with these glasses on, I can't even tell that I've been stung, so I feel like the penalty is not, uh, not very great. Oh darn, there weren't any spots for that wood. Oh man, maybe I should just stream all day. Because if I stop streaming and then have to start again, I'm gonna be in trouble. I'm gonna have a hard time Hard time firing up the old, uh, the old brain again. I am running into this problem where I don't have a HEPA filter in this room, and I should just stop being lazy and carry the one from room to room, but on the other hand, maybe I should just buy another filter. Ugh. It might save me from a lot of pain. But disposable income is not great right now. It's bad enough I had to buy a stupid Switch Pro controller for $60. Oh no, my stupid axe! Oh, I should have brought another axe. Oh, that's fine, actually. I can just go to the guy and get another one with Miles.
with Nook Miles O'Brien. Uh, let's go to him. I wish you could rename all of your characters or something. Uh, I need tools. I need tools, I need a flimsy axe. I could craft one, but it's this is just easier. <laughs> I spotted. That's actually a good trick. I've done that before. Typically, it's something where like Janelle will be like, "I don't care, you choose," and then I'll, I'll flip a coin, and then I'll go, "Ah, oh, but I really wanted the other one," and she'll just be like, "Then just do the other one." <laughs> um. Oh wait, the flimsy axe doesn't cut down the tree, huh? That's okay though, I don't really care. I don't need it to be cut down. Good swinging. Oh man. Oh, you know, I should take a break because uh, Brian mentioned parents and my dad. <laughs> so this is stupid. I woke up this morning from an e with an email from H&R Block. And the email said, um, Hi, Skyrim mom. Uh, we need you to verify your email account or your email um, uh, for your new account. And I was like, oh, God, somebody's like trying to hack me. Um, this is a great way to wake up when I'm tired after a long night of craziness. Um, so I called H&R Block, and they were like, eh, we can, you're going to have to wait 25 minutes to speak to a representative. And I was like, oh my god, this is just, I can't deal with this, so I'll, I'll figure it out later. Um, and then I realized that my father had also sent me an email saying something about, like, I need your social security number or something. And then I realized, oh, my dad is bored, and he just wants to, like, do my taxes for me, is what he's doing. And he set up this account without telling me. And then it sent me an email that said, if you haven't done this, then call because you've been hacked. And I'm like, God, can't you just send the text? Also, why would you make it Skyrim Mom? It just, it looks like something where somebody like has, you know, like is, is trying to use an account of mine that they've like, you know, gleaned some information, but not all information about me or, you know, I mean, it's just like, I haven't used that Skyrim mom Twitter account in like years. So why would you like, oh God, dad. <laughs> I pieced it all together like two minutes before I went on the stream because I was kind of worried about streaming without having figured it out. And then I went, oh, I'm fine. It's just my dad being lazy, or uh, not lazy, but being uh, bored in his house with nothing to do, starting an H&R Block account for me. Your dad plagues Skyrim next. That's not gonna work. That is not gonna work at all. Um, my dad has never been amazing with computers, um, but lately it has really taken a turn. I mean, it's it's pretty bad. Um, just. We're in this, like, cycle. We're on, like, the fifth matrix of, uh, <laughs> of the, uh, of the dad universe, where, like, I've, I've explained to him that he needs to keep his passwords in a thing so that he doesn't just write them down and have the old passwords, but I've, he's lost control of his Google account at least, like, three different times, and... I mean, I have remote desktop set up on his computer at this point, so I can just, like, go in and try and fix his stuff for him. But, um, 
Also, he, I have now the recovery account for his Google account, so that I get alerts when he does something stupid. Um, it's just, uh, it's, it's a good time. Oops. But he stopped, uh, he stopped going out, so that's good. Didn't know that that was going to be very likely. But I, uh, I did a little scared straight talk with him, and, um, sufficiently scared him from leaving his house for the next, next number of months. Mmm. Yeah, the problem is my dad, Kiki, my dad knows just enough uh, to be to be dangerous. He knows how to, like, use Facebook, kind of. I mean, basically he does. Um, he knows how to, you know, use a computer and a phone. Um, but he doesn't know how to, like, detect phishing attempts. He doesn't know how to, um, you know, recover passwords. He doesn't know how to do, like, anything that would help him when he gets into trouble. Um, and so that's the, that's the danger. Um, he knows just enough to be a pain. I guess I should be collecting coconuts on these islands too, because they'll sell well at my, uh, on my island. <laughs> Exponent, you know, I have sympathy for that. It does make sense. Um, I'm, th this is a shameful thing to admit, but I, I feel like I'm going to, I can already feel that I'm going to be like that. Where I know how to do all of the really specific things that I learned to do when I was a kid, but like, there will just be new things that I just have no way of learning because they're, they're, they're just specific to like a chain of events that I just won't encounter because I don't, that I'll just like suddenly not know how to use a thing on a computer. I can feel it already. I know it's going to happen. Um, it does, part of it just does come with like, I mean, it's laziness essentially, but it's also just, I have things in my life that are more important to me than learning how to do the specific thing I could on a computer. Whereas when you're like 13, you don't. <laughs> like, you just don't have anything better going on. So you may as well just like fuck around on a computer. But it's like, now, now nowadays I'll, I'll like run into an issue on my computer and if I'm busy or I have something else going on, I might just throw my hands in the air and kind of figure it out later or not ever figure it out. Um, <laughs> Sunlust, yeah, you know, now that you mention it, Twitch, like, I mean, there are a lot of things about Twitch that I eventually figure out because I just kind of have to, but, um, yeah, there are aspects of Twitch that I just care less about at this point already. Um, the prize thing at the top isn't really like a prize thing, it's, it's just showing who's uh, given the most bits this month. But I don't know what the packages are, actually. Yeah, what do the packages mean? It's very strange. Oh, those are gifted subscriptions, right? Those are gifted subscriptions. And then there's, you can cycle to the other part of it, which is uh, gifted bits. Um, a bit is just a form of currency. It's just their bullshit fake currency where like, what is it? It's a uh, hundred bits is a dollar. Um, it's, it's just, it's all stupid. But I mean, I really appreciate your gifts. <laughs> um, but the, the form of, of the gift is, is very silly. I guess I've got everything I need here. Um, yeah. Oh, thanks, Potato. 
Wow, I could just stream the whole day and not eat or do anything. Um. What am I streaming later? Why am I asking you guys? Uh, I'm supposed to stream Amazing Frog. Okay. Amazing Frog. I don't know what Amazing Frog is. Oh, Michael says, if you need to push my pick tonight so that you can get some sleep, that's fine. Um, uh, I don't think I need to do that, Michael. But if I do, then I will. <laughs> Thank you for your offer. Um, I'm, uh... I mean, I feel okay. It just, I think I'm just having a bad allergy day on top of this tiredness. Sorry, there's somebody outside our apartment doing a weird thing. Um, if you drink Clock of Moon, I'll do it too. See, now I'm in this weird zone. I don't know, this is getting, this is getting too real. It's fine. Um, ooh. Ooh, okay, well I've got 8,000. Uh, I guess I'll make more tables. Uh, I should sell some stuff before I make tables though. To free up inventory space. And I was just talking about Ouya and um, Towerfall. I, I had forgotten that Towerfall was an Ouya exclusive, and that's why Towerfall Ascension exists, because it was the version that was not on uh, Ouya. Uh, I don't need this cardboard box. Garden faucet, yeah, right, okay. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, um, let's go craft things. Oh, I have mail. Oh, I have mail from Garfopolis. Kevin and Garfopolis says, bingo. Dino DNA. Oh my god, what's this gonna be? Oops. A bingo wheel. <laughs> okay, it was not it was not a dinosaur, it was a bingo wheel. Oh man! Can you pull a number out of this? Oh, I'm kind of sad that this doesn't actually create a bingo number. Oh, this is such a bummer in a way. I want this to, I want to be able to see the number. Man. Okay, uh, that, that's a cool, that's a cool one though, Kevin, thank you. Um, garbage for the garbage lord. Uh, thanks, Bill. Is it just garbage? Is it just a boot? Oh, it's a garbage pail. Oh, nice, thank you, Bill. It kind of looks like, um, you know, like this is compost and this is trash and this is recycling. I like it. Um, here, I'm gonna actually put this like here. Yeah, I'll get out of my way when I'm trying to get to my house. Okay. Nicely tucked in, let's craft. <clears throat> How many extra hardwood I do? Okay. And we want 
that natural square table. Aw, natural. Um, <clears throat> let's keep crafting. Um, oops. A dumpster dumpster, I hope it does. I could probably customize a dumpster. Can you, when you customize, can you rename the item? Probably not. This is getting a little cluttered. I really, really need to expand my house. Um, I have too many things and not enough space. I think that's my goal for the day, is try to make enough money to pay off that $200,000 loan. It's probably going to be difficult, but... It's like <clears throat> all that for 20,000 means that I've got to do that 10 times. Ay, ay, ay. All right, well, I should probably take a break and go eat something before I pass out and probably take a pill of some kind. Um, thank you all for uh, hanging out with me. Um, I will likely be back in a couple of hours for, um, for Amazing Frog, but if I'm not, uh, I will... I will, uh, I will cover that on a different day. Um, things are looking very busy here. Oh, you know what? I can do it like next week pretty easily. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm going to go take care of myself because I feel pretty bad. Um, so um, have a good rest of your day, everybody. Uh, I hope I'll see you later. But if I don't, um, I will see you hopefully tomorrow at one for Wizard Jam games. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do do some Wizard Jam stuff tomorrow, um, and that'll be fun. And I'm gonna put that on Twitter so people will remember that. Um, but uh, don't hurt yourself, entertainment. I don't think streaming is really hurting myself. I don't think I can I can do permanent damage on a stream, but. Um, uh, I will, yeah, I will see you all later, and, um, uh, take care, uh, wash your hands, um, oh, Eternal Prime, so I'm gonna do Wizard Jam at 1 Pacific tomorrow, um, and, uh, uh, barring, like, a total, barring me taking a total dive health-wise, which I hopefully will not happen, um, Space Stream, uh, so we're gonna have Rubik's Cube, who's an astronomer, on to walk us through Space Engine on Sunday at 1. The same time, same place, Saturday and Sunday. Um, and uh, as Half Loaf points out, there's a Google, a Google Calendar for all this stuff. Um, so uh, yeah, I will, I will hopefully see you for those at least, um, but uh, I'll probably drop in um, later today. It may not be at 4, it may just, uh, it may just uh, be later in the day. Um, Maybe like six or seven ish. Anyway, um, Janelle's gonna make dinner actually, so uh, maybe while Janelle's making dinner, I'll stream. Um, anyway, have a great day, everyone, and um, take it easy. Don't don't work too hard, and I will see you later. Bye. Wash your hands. <laughs>